your voice. I'm, I'm just listening to you speak. Like, I hear your tone in your instrument. Like, what is it like? What do, how do people react to you versus, you know, when you see you and hear you? Like, you get a lot of interesting reactions to it, your voice? Sometimes, yeah. It, it's funny, I used to be a tiny uh, boy at school. I was one of the smallest in my class. And there was one moment when I was about 14 years old when my voice broke. You know, when your voice goes from like, ah, to like, ah. Yeah. And then one day I came into school and I went, ah. And everyone went, what? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're just a little boy. But um, I was really excited for my voice to break because I wanted to sing those bass notes. And I've always loved singing like the bass, like, ah, and then the tenor, like, ah, and then the alto, like, ah, and the soprano, like, ah. And that's where you live. <laughs> that's where you that's live. That's what I do? Yeah. We're having a musician moment, excuse us, because I hear it all in your instrument. You have a lot of range. Uh -oh. You just went through it all. Because I hear it in your speaking voice. I can hear the top register, mm. and then when you drop down to that bass, yeah. that's quite interesting. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. OK, I want to know, how did you get discovered? Well, when I was just a, a wee lad in uh, North London, I was growing up, and I was experimenting with music a lot at the time. And I started to make some YouTube videos, and it was often it was me layering my voice with all those low notes up to the high notes to make these kind of um, harmonies. And these harmonies would be joined together and I would be arranging songs. And that process of arranging the music and creating these layers, I was totally smitten with this as a process. And so I kept on building this, I kept on exploring it. And then one day, I got an email uh, from a man named Quincy Jones. Oh, wow. And uh, that was, <laughs> that was mind blowing for me. What was that like? Like, what did he hear of yours that... He heard, there was a video I did, uh, an arrangement of a song called Don't You Worry About a Thing. You know that tune? Yes. Such a good tune. Do you guys know that tune? <laughs> oh, it's great. So that song is one of my favorites, and I did an arrangement of that song, and I sang some harmonies, I played some different instruments, and I guess Quincy had, had heard it, and he was really uh, excited about the chords. And, uh, and I love chords. You know, there's, yeah. there's melody, there's rhythm, but for me, harmony is like my ultimate teenage crush. And I spent a lot, a lot of years just figuring out chords and how they fit together. And for me as a kid, I would sit at the piano and just feel my way through these chords. I'm like, whoa, that feels cool. That feels different. How can I move from here to here? And you build bridges, you know, from one world to another world. And gradually, you kind of amass a language that feels like you can be yourself with it. And, oh. You so he sounds like a musical genius. I think we have a musical genius right here.